Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you've probably seen from the title and from what's in front of us, I'm basically going to be doing a comparison between the two locomotion um, National Railway Museum models that I have. Um, obviously, locomotion, who are the National Railway Museum that are based up at Shildon, have started to release these sort of limited edition, um, I think they call it on their website, National Collection and Miniature which um, are basically sort of the, the sort of special engines and sort of rolling stock I guess, mainly engines um, that the National Railway Museum as a whole own or specials that are related to that and these are the two that I have at the moment I am planning to get some more in the future but at the moment this is sort of my collection so I'm just going to compare the two of them and have a sort of side-by-side -side running test and just um, sort of general comparison just because I thought it'd be quite interesting to the c c sort of compare these two so as you can see I've got the British Rail sort of NRM um, Flying Scotsman and support coach and obviously this is there is another Hornby sort of model out at the moment which is just the engine but it's in a sort of matte finish Whereas this was the special um, sort of limited edition National Railway Museum edition where the engine itself came in a really gloss finish sort of replicating what the actual engine looks like itself and then it also came with the support coach with National Railway, National Railway Museum York on it. Um, so that's the first one I've got and the second one that I've more recently purchased is this which is the Virgin Trains um, Class 43 um, HST pack but obviously the National Railway Museum don't own this but basically if you haven't sort of if you don't know um, the Virgin Trains basically they did it in the past as it says on the back of here which I'll have a look at um, they did it in the past they sort of had a special and it was actually this engine um, this power car sorry itself um, they sort of had a special livery when um, the National Railway Museum was, I think it was maybe 10 years old, I can't remember. Um, but they've done it again basically for the 40 year anniversary of the National Railway Museum. So Locomotion have released a, um, a special sort of edition for that. And I'm pretty certain they're both limited to five, limited to 500 for the Flying Scotsman and 500 again for um, for the HST so sort of I'll quickly compare the boxes and then we'll actually get to the engines themselves um, if I put them like this you can sort of see box wise it's absolutely identical the um, the sort of design of it is the National Railway Museum design you've got the little Hornby logo in um, in the corner there just because obviously Hornby have made them um, I'll be curious to see what the Sterling single that's coming out will be what that will look like because that isn't actually being made by Hornby as far as I'm aware. Um, moving to the back then we've obviously got um, this history, we've got the, the photo of what is inside basically um, all lined up as it will be and then just some general history like um, here you can sort of see about the engine itself how it was designed by um, Sir Nigel Gresley and it was sort of um, when it left the factory in 1923 um, and how obviously the numbers changed and all the history about um, sort of how the Flying Scotsman um, I guess the story went on with all the different owners and stuff like that and then on this side we've got more um, sort of history well more information I'd say about this particular sort of model um, and you can sort of see here it's sold exclusively through locomotion and um, all the profit goes to the museum which is I guess a good thing and then just comparing that quickly we've got the same um, same big image on the front here for the HST it's literally identical front of the box wise only difference is um, the product code which is only one number off which I've actually just noticed R3502 R3503 um, so they did come out pretty similar time wise but um, I only got this one more recently luckily they still had a few left in um, you have a sort of few little images around the box and sort of obviously the, the line up there but there will obviously be coaches in the middle 
and then yeah the history of the actual the actual power cars themselves um, and yeah okay as you can see down here yeah it was 10 years so this power car um, carried us it must have been a different livery I'll try and find a photo of it or something and put it up on the screen for you um, of what this looked like um, so it, it had a special livery to celebrate 10 years of the National Railway Museum and then they've done it again for the 40th and then a similar sort of information here about the actual engine um, and how all the profit and stuff goes to the museum so yeah that was just a quick sort of overall view of the, the two boxes they're pretty similar obviously but um, but yeah I'll just um, move the camera and now we'll actually go and see the actual engines okay so first up we've got the Flying Scotsman and as you can see it's obviously got this really nice glossy finish um, lots of sort of detailing and yeah just really sort of pleased with it um, and then we've obviously got the support coach behind um, and yeah the sort of I think these sort of limited edition sort of runs by the National Railway Museum sort of are really popular really good sort of um, limited edition sort of things to have and yeah just sort of bringing some more variety and stuff to the sort of hobby um, so I'll sort of have a little running session with this first um, and then we'll move on to the class 43 over there Okay, so now we've got the HST. Obviously, um, I've got a full review of this and the Flying Scotsman um, in separate videos, which I'll link below. But um, just a sort of quick overview. It's got loads of really nice detail. All these words down here are all the names of the um, some of the engines and locos that the Railway Museum own. And then we've got these nice sort of, I don't know, if these sort of faded images here of some of the engines that they have. More of the sort of naming there and then we've got this nice sort of etched nameplate here 40 years um national railway museum and sort of um yeah i just this is my first sort of proper hst sort of um and yeah um i really like it um it obviously it's quite a, a change from some of the stuff that i've had previously um but yeah let's go see it running 